As you have already seen the interfaces configuration in OpenSense, and we have already completed that section. If I go here to the interfaces here on left side, you will see here these are multiple interfaces. And in overview, you will see here how many interfaces are there. You will see here I have a one which is opt1 home lab having the IP address of this range, so 10.11.12.1. That's why I'm able to access other network also. For example, I can access the OpenSense with 10.11.12.1 as well. This is because the other interface is also configured and it is also routing to 172.16.1.1. This is WAN interface. WAN interface is automatically getting the IP address from the DHCP and here its IP address right now is 192.168.100.241 and gateway is automatically configured here. Then is VMBR0. This is the virtual interface which we will be configuring which means that virtual machines on Proxmox will be getting the IP addresses from this OpenSense. So we will be configuring this also and we will be specifying a different range for that specific virtual network which is directly connected to the Proxmox. And here again one more network interface which is VMBR1 on uh, Proxmox. So we'll be configuring that as well. So this is wireless LAN which you have already seen that we have just now configured it. I am now connected on this particular wireless LAN. So this Wi-Fi access point is connected to this physical port on OpenSense which I have configured as 172.16.1.1. Then is the guest network. Its status is disconnected because there is no cable connected. And here also with VMBR0 also there is no cable connected. So if I take you back to interfaces and in interfaces you see the assignments you will see here that there is no available device to be assigned but these are all the devices which are available and these are all already assigned. So I will be configuring VMBR1 also and I will be configuring VMBR0 also and here this particular one is already there but it is disconnected right now. So here we have IGC0, IGC2 and IGC1 these are the physical uh, network interfaces which are passed through to OpenSense and from Proxmox I have configured these two which is VTNet0 and VTNet1. These are the virtual interfaces and accordingly in Proxmox these are VMBR0 and VMBR1. And then this is also physical interface IGC3 so which is in fact passed through from the uh, Proxmox to OpenSense and this is for the guest network. So I have one of the Wi-Fi access point which is mainly for the guests so I will be turning it on but these you can see IGC3, IGC2, IGC1 and IGC0 these are the physical ports which are passed through to OpenSense from the Proxmox. I will take you back to 10.11.12.104 which is the Proxmox and here on Protectly you can see one virtual machine which was created which is OpenSense. And in this open sense, if I take you to hardware, you can see here that one, two, three, and four, these were the PCI pass through. And if I show you here, these are those three, IGC0, IGC1, IGC2, and IGC3. And if I show you the two other interfaces, which are VTNet0 and VTNet1, which are accordingly connected to VMBR0 and VMBR1, so these are also available here. So this is VMBR0 and VMBR1, VTNet0 and VTNet1. So here you can see VTNet0 and VTNet1. I can of course configure these also VMBR0 which is configured here on the Protectly. If I take you here, this is network and here VMBR0 which is in fact connected to the physical port ENO0. So ENO0 is Ethernet on board and this is right now connected here physically. So this one is virtual port but connected to physically here. So this is the Proxmox port. So which means that in Protectly one of the ports which is the first port, port number one, that is only for the VMBR0 that is only for the Proxmox and if I disconnect that I will be getting disconnected from the Proxmox network. These are six physical ports of Protectly and in physical ports these are all passed through you can see here this is OpenSense, this is OpenSense, this is OpenSense and this is also guest LAN OpenSense. So these are the pass through this is the management IP which you have already seen a single IP where I'll be physically connecting with the 
Proxmox in case I want to configure. So now VMBR1 is not connected to any physical interface. You can see here it is not connected to any physical interface, which means that if I'm creating any virtual machine, which I want to connect to uh, internally and I want to get the internet access using OpenSense, so I will be having internal networking. But at the same time, because the VMBR1 is already connected to OpenSense, here you can see VMBR1, it is already connected to OpenSense. I can configure the IP addresses here and DHCP here and then whatever virtual machine I create inside Proxmox and that virtual machine will be getting the IP address directly from OpenSense. I can either create the software defined network here. So this was about the configuration of network. Uh, just I wanted to show you how practically I have done this and how uh, in production environment it is right now configured so that if you see any changes while we did the initial configuration and what we are doing right now so you may not get confused of course you have flexibility of doing the configuration by yourself so let us continue the next video now we'll be looking at other aspects of open sense